Okay, this morning talk a little bit about the helicycle. The helicycle is a one-person uh, turbine-powered single-seat helicopter. Weighs about 520 pounds empty. And it's powered by a single-stage centrifugal turbine engine. And this engine was originally installed in ground generators for the military. It's capable of making 160 horsepower, however, we limit its power to 95 horsepower in the helicycle. And how we do that is two ways. Uh, as you can see in this video, if you look real closely, you'll see that the engine is actually tilted uh, on an upward incline towards the front of the engine. And the reason that is, that's how we engage the clutch. We slowly engage this jack screw. This jack screw pulls the front of the engine down, which tightens these belts, which drives the engine. Those belts are set to 45 pounds of pressure when they're fully tightened. So if you try to pull more than 95 horsepower, they'll slip. Furthermore, the throttle, believe it or not, or my fingers point here, not sure if you can see this, this is full travel on the throttle left and right. So there's idle, there's full throttle less than really about a three quarters of an inch of movement. And it has little set screws to limit the travel of the throttle and that is how we limit the power. So two ways of limiting the power. Now we got a king air going by. That's actually the King Air that I get to fly. Oh, every couple months they let me fill in as an extra pilot. It's lots of fun. Anyway, to start this uh, helicopter, we use two Odyssey batteries hooked in uh, parallel. Uh, on startup, this engine uh, initially uses over 1,100 amps of power to start. And that's quite a bit. Within a second, it's down to 600 amps, then the next second, 450 amps, but that's still a lot of power. So, over here is the starter side. This is my master switch, this red little key here. There's four fuel tanks. We've got an upper fuel tank that holds about, uh, I think around seven gallons. Two lower fuel tanks, and then a header tank. Total capacity is about 24 gallons. It burns between 13 and 14 gallons per hour. So you got about an hour and 20 minutes plus reserves. Um, but again, very dirt simple, single stage, centrifugal compressor, not horribly fuel efficient. Basically burns about 1.3 pounds of fuel per horsepower that you're using per hour. So you do the math on that if you're, uh, works out to about 13 gallons per hour in normal flight. So pretty again, pretty basic. Just a simple two-bladed uh, uh, system, teetering system, standard uh, tail rotor, nothing fancy about it. Works real well. We've got plenty of tail rotor authority, plenty of authority. On the inside, I just redid the interior. It had a blue denim. I ended up going with leather, but uh, pretty straightforward. Have just a little comm radio transponder with encoder and uh, standard instrumentation for VFR. So, very simple helicopter, not much to it. Uh, very easy to fly. Uh, the governor, once you set, uh, set power at 100%, the uh, governor, which is this piece here that I was showing you earlier on the throttle, the governor completely takes over and maintains your throttle for you. So, it's just like flying a Jet Ranger in that respect, or even a Robinson with a governor, except for it doesn't wander a bit. You can yank that collective up. I don't recommend you do that, but you can really pull the collective fast, throw in pedal fast. It doesn't matter. The governor does a good job. We'll do a startup sequence. I'll put my headset on, do a startup sequence, and uh, show you what that's all about also.